What's up, guys? It's MB Boxing. I just finished up watching Rashidi Ellis versus Roy Monvia, and this was a 12 rounder for the IBF welterweight world title eliminator. And this fight was Saturday, January 7th, from the Capital One Arena in Washington, D.C. And this fight was broadcasted on Showtime pay per view. And in this fight, we had a shocker. Roy Monvia battled back in the second half and got a majority decision victory over Rashidi Ellis. Um, so this was a crazy win for Villa. Uh, and I scored this bout 114-112 in favor of Rashidi Ellis. I thought Ellis won, but the three judges um, did disagree. Two of them scored at 114-112 in Villa's favor, and one had a 113-113 a draw. So do I think this fight was a robbery? I mean, not really. I mean, it was very, very close in the end. There was definitely a few rounds in there that I gave to Ellis that could have definitely went to Villa. But just to break this fight down round by round, I'm going to be honest. The first six rounds were clear rounds for Ronald Ellis. I mean, they were clear. He was just jabbing from the outside. Villa was a bit sloppy in his defense, was just getting tagged, not really being that effective. Um, there was a few instances in the first six where he would have a high like punch output. Um, but, I mean, he just wouldn't really be effective with it. Like, he'd be throwing a lot of punches... Not a lot would be landing, and he'd be getting tagged with jabs, counters, and Ellis was easily winning the first six. Then in round number seven, this is where it started to get close. Villa was a bit more aggressive, um, but I gave that seventh round just slightly to Ellis. That was one of those rounds that could have went either way. Same with the eighth round. It was a very close round, but I thought Ellis just had the more clever and cleaner work. But like I said, it could those two rounds could have went either way. Then... Rounds 9 through 12 were huge rounds for Roy Monvia that he clearly won. Um, Villa started landing big power punches on Ellis, backing him up. It looked like Ellis was stunned a bit. He was trying to hold. He was trying to back up. Uh, and Roy Monvia won that ninth round very cleanly, very clearly as well. Then in round 10 was another big Villa round. Ellis was backtracking, getting hit a lot. And there was a lot of big power and aggression from Villa. Then in round number 11... Again, Villa just had the better work. I thought that one was one of the closer ones out of those last four. But Villa, I mean, he had much better work in that 11th round, in my opinion, and was much more active. Then the 12th round, this was the biggest round of the fight. Um, Ellis just had to survive, and he would have won the fight, probably. Um, but, wow, I mean, Roman Villa closed it out so well. He landed a massive, leaping left hook flush on Ellis that put him down. Um, and there was still a lot of time left, so Roman Villa went out there, guns blazing after Ellis got up from the first knockdown, throwing big combinations, and Ellis really made a big mistake. It was like the last 15 seconds, and he was for some reason trading with the big power puncher in Villa instead of holding or just trying to go to the bell to not afford a 10-7 round. But then he was exchanging, got caught with a left-right hook combination, and went down in the ropes. And that was the second knockdown for Villa. So if you were watching this fight, comment down below how you did score it. I, I would imagine it's very, very close. I could see anywhere from 114, 112 either way, and 113, 113. Any score outside of that I think is kind of a bit iffy, but I, th I could definitely see 6, 6, 7, 5 for Ellis, or even 8, 4 for Ellis, which is what I had it. But nonetheless, it was, really close. it was a really close fight that really came down to those two knockdowns, and obviously those two knockdowns won the fight. For Roy Monvia. So this goes in the question, what is next for Roy Monvia? This was a massive upset win for Villa. I mean, a massive win. He was like a 5-1 to one underdog in this fight, I believe so. I think the odds were like minus 550. And um, yeah, he went out there and fought an excellent fight in the end. He battled back really nicely. And he won an eliminator from this. You got to remember, the winner of this fight... I mean, was talking of possibly fighting the winner of Ennis' fight that's coming up tonight, obviously, when I'm filming this. The Ennis' fight did not happen yet, but I would assume Ennis is going to get the victory. Um, so, I mean, yeah, I mean, Ennis was, is fighting for the IBF interim title later on in the co-main event here. So I could definitely see um, Roman Villa taking on maybe Jerron Ennis uh, for like a final, like a final for sure eliminator to get like Spence or something like that. Um, or we could definitely see Roman Villa take on maybe someone else that's ranked highly by P in, in PBC in the welterweight division, maybe like a Cody Crowley, maybe 
Um, I mean, really, just PVC has a lot of welterweight guys I can name. I mean, maybe a Mario Barrio. So, I mean, there's just a lot of names um, around that level, like top 10, top 15 in the welterweight division um, that PVC does stay claim to. Um, but as for Rashidi Ellis, this was a tough loss. First ever loss of his career. Um, but like I said before, for um, Roman Villa, he could definitely get a big opportunity obviously against Ellis, someone against or someone that's in the top 15, top 10. But for Ellis, I mean, I think he definitely has to just get a nice, solid, easy win on his next card or on his next fight. Um, I think that he'll face a pretty solid, like maybe C-level fighter that he'll get a decent little win over. Um, and then he'll really try and start building himself back up into that top tier level because he was really being thought up to be a really solid fighter. This was a tough loss. He, I mean, he really did not close out the fight like how he wanted to. So I think that in his next fight, like I said before, he'll take on a C-level fighter, get a pretty easy win, and continue building up um, that opposition until he's back where he was at right here, fighting for an, elim eliminate, fighting for an eliminator. Um, so overall, Roman Villa drops uh, Rashidi Ellis twice in the 12th round, which ultimately leads to him getting a majority decision victory in a very, very close fight. And yeah, that's really it. I'm MB Boxing. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later.